basically I just found out tonight's uh, top story. Banksy Banks, mural. Banks, mural. His mural was torn off a London Poundland store. Banksy is a street artist, graffiti artist, mural painter. Mural painter. His mural was torn off a London Poundland store, and now it's up for Miami auction at an auction in Miami, where it's expected to sell for like five hundred thousand to seven hundred thousand. That's like three hundred and twenty-three to four hundred and fifty-two pounds. Bidding for the picture titled Banksy Slave Labor Bunting Boy, London 2012, closes on Saturday. So this story is emerging and uh, we're going to see who gets it. If that person that gets it is named or unnamed, they're part of this, I mean, this removal from a wall. The whole wall was cut out. Look at this. Look at this. And then apparently, uh, I think maybe this is a replacement painting here or something. And his mural was hacked off a wall to sell for 450,000 pounds. I don't know if that figure will be in pounds. It's closer to 500,000 to $700,000 to who knows who. And uh, this website owner, Frederick Thutt, said it was being, being sold by a well-known collector, but wouldn't name the person. He told the son... He was offered it along with Banksy's wet dog, Bethlehem, 2007, adding, quote, The collector signed a contract saying everything was above board. If he has lied to us, it is important to know. But I don't think he lies to us. Frederick said the collector is not British and that the piece is in storage in Europe. It is due to go up for auction on Saturday, but furious locals are demanding it back. Councillor Alan Strickland said, Banksy gave us our community that painting for free. Someone has taken it and plans to make a huge amount for themselves, which is disgusting and counter to the spirit in which it was given. No doubt Banksy would be horrified. Well, I don't know how Banksy feels about it. Maybe Banksy's involved in the conspiracy uh, to get his name out there and all these news reports and uh, he just buys back the piece he's like man I always wanted that in my living room not on that crazy wall uh, where, where I left it maybe I wanted it back or maybe some other uh, super rich elite person wanted it wanted it for themselves or perhaps the artwork of a barefoot boy using a sewing machine to stitch union flag bunting apparently in a sweatshop is widely interpreted as condemning child labor and mocking the impending queen's diamond jubilee celebrations or perhaps just some other uh super elite wealthy millionaire artist person or just someone who wants to pay like you know over half a million for uh that painting to be in their living room or wherever they're gonna put it i mean who will want that who's gonna pay for that artwork disappearing being sold in America we don't know who we don't know who sold it to the collector and then who's going to buy it off some website so great it's great artwork comes down what's next <laughs>